Holy shit. Iron Maiden released their 17th studio album. This was released on September 3rd, 2021. We've been anticipating this album for years now and finally they released Senjutsu. Their first single was The Writing on the Wall, which was an absolutely fantastic song, but it was a different sounding song by Iron Maiden. If I do sound a bit croaky, I've been through a virus. This virus hit me on Friday, the same time Iron Maiden Senjutsu was released. So throughout the weekend, I was bedridden listening to Senjutsu, and I have listened to this album oh, fucking about 15 times now. So. I am here to give you my my actual thoughts after listening to this album about 15 times. I spent over 15 hours with this album, and I gotta say, this album is one of the better Iron Maiden albums. Now, I absolutely adore Iron Maiden, love all their stuff. I love the modern Iron Maiden era, and I really do love the old 80s era as well, and even the 90s. In my opinion, there is not one bad Iron Maiden album, maybe apart from... Uh, the Final Frontier, which is my least favourite, but I really do enjoy most of the songs. Bruce Dickinson's vocal performance on this is absolutely fantastic, really is. They have decided to uh, put him into a lower register, where he doesn't really incorporate higher notes. Where Book of Souls, his vocals at times were close to shit. His vocals are much more controlled, are much more equilibrium on this album. His vocals are in a lower register, which really makes this album quite darker in themed. Some would say it's very similar to the album Metal Life and Death, which is another fantastic modern day Iron Maiden album. Production on this is okay in my opinion, really is. I do love the raw elements on this. Um, I feel that production Iron Maiden Sinjitsu really works with this. A lot of people are saying that the production on this album isn't great, it's not great, it's very muddy. Well, in my opinion, I think the production does work on this. Just the muddiness of the guitars, along with these vocals as well, that really, really enhance the listening experience. Just really overall, some great songwriting on this. I love how Adrian Smith, Dave Murray, and Yannick really, really work with each other so damn well, and you get some amazing results on this. Bruce Dickinson's vocals at times are a little bit low in the mix, but it really works with the environmental nature of Senjutsu. Some great guitar rhythms, some great riffs, and there are some progressive elements on this, with, with some odd time signatures throughout the Time Machine, the Parchment, and How on Earth. This is a double album as well. Honestly, I cannot wait to get to get my hands on this album. I have listened to it digitally, and I think this album is, in my opinion, it's one of the best Iron Maiden albums, it really is. Now, you fucking Maiden elitist will come on this video and just say, dude, you're on drugs. How can this be um, one of Maiden's best works? And I'll tell you why it's one of Maiden's best works, just because it's the overall sound. This doesn't sound like any other Iron Maiden album. They utilize a lot more synths on this album, a lot more synths, which I really do enjoy. Enjoy. These keyboard synths create this atmosphere, which I love. You get songs like Lost in a Lost World, which utilizes those synths so damn well, and at times it sounds like Children of the Dam. I love Bruce Dickens' vocals on Lost in a Lost World. Just really so much emotion, some great guitar solos as well, and Lost in a Lost World was one of my weakest Iron Maiden songs off the album, but holy shit, it's become one of my favorites. Although the introduction is quite weird, especially with the vocal over overlay and everything, it really builds up and you get an amazing second half. And yes, Lost in the Lost World was one of my weakest songs off Senjutsu, but it really has grown on me so damn much. Senjutsu is a great way to kick off the album. It's a mid-tempo song, uh, which is really interesting to um, kick off an Iron Maiden album. Like usually, usually most of their openers are pretty fast tempo pace, but in my opinion, Senjutsu really works. It's one of the best songs in years for Iron Maiden. Some great moments. I love the guitar melodies, and not to mention the solos on this, and just the uh, impactful energy you are getting. Strategio comes next, and there are some great moments on it. Again, they utilize more simps on this. I love the chorus. Bruce Dickinson's vocals are amazing. The writing on the wall was the single. The writing on the wall is magnificent. The chorus is amazing. Have you seen the writing on the wall? Some great moments. Love the southern country rock vibes as well on this. It's so damn different for Iron Maiden. It really is. Days of a Future Past comes after Lost in a Lost World and just overall a fucking fantastic song. Days of Future Past. 
His vocals on that are absolutely amazing. Again, they utilize those synths. Those synth elements just really build. It's one of the shortest songs. It is one of the shortest Iron Maiden songs in like fucking 20 years. <laughs> it's insane. But Days of Future Past absolutely kicks ass with some great solos, some great riffages, and it's short and quick. Leads on to the Time Machine. I feel the Time Machine has a happier melody, which doesn't really correspond to the lyrics itself. Some great vocal work by Bruce Dickerson in a lower register, but he does reach a few high notes. I love the guitar riffages, and just the overall melody is quite infectious in tone. The Time Machine is a fantastic fucking song. We go into disc two and we go to one of the most, one of my favorite songs by Iron Maiden in a very long time. It is The Darkest Hour. The Darkest Hour tells a story about Churchill and tells a story about the Normandy landings, aka D-Day. And there's just so much emotion on this song with Bruce Dickinson's vocals and not to mention yes, I'm gonna say here The Darkest Hour has the best fucking guitar solo. Iron Maiden has ever done. This solo is so damn emotional. Yes, I listened to this song um, on Friday and I teared up. I teared up listening to Darkest Hour just because how beautiful it was, especially the chorus. Here I stand in a serenade of glory. So damn good. Darkest Hour is one of the best Iron Maiden songs. It really is. The guitar solo is absolutely amazing. I love it. And the melodies are so damn infectious in tone. A lot of emotion, just a lot of, oh, such a beautiful song. We are moving on to the epic Iron Maiden songs. Definitely counts is so damn good. It reminds me a bit of The Clansman, reminds me a bit of The Dance of Death, and also reminds me of The Nomad by Bra in Brave New World. There are some nomad melodies on this song, along with The Clansman, especially the lyrical themes. And also just a f an infectious giddy up guitar melody as well on Death of the Couch. Great solos as well, the solos for days, few progressive elements along with odd time signatures. And Nico's drumming is one of the best on this. Again, Bruce sounds absolutely amazing. Again, there's a lot of synths incorporated throughout this song. Um, the synths layer in this atmosphere, which I love. Death of the Couch is, yeah, one of the best songs off the album. Leads to the parchment. Parchment is 12 minutes 40. This is where I believe that this, this is where I believe that the parchment should have been cut a little bit. Just because there are some overall repetitive moments on the parchment, great moments as well. Just the overall, some repetitive riffs on this particular song. And at times there is, there's a really long intro, a really long intro. And yeah, I just feel like the parchment it's probably one of the weakest songs off the album, but damn, this uh, this particular song still slaps. We got some great solos on this. Solos for Days by Adrian Smith, Dave Murray, and Yannick. Great guitar riffs. Guitar riffs at times are quite repetitive, but yeah, like Bruce really stars on the parchment as well. Great melodies, some seems to be utilized on this song, and it's a great build up to the next song, which is How on Earth, which is definitely a great closer. It's one of the best closers for Iron Maiden, in my opinion. How on Earth is so damn good. Such a really interesting intro. I love the intro on this and just the build up. It just feels like an overture. It just feels like an overture on How on Earth, what you're gonna about to experience. The chorus is catchy, it's catchy, it's sing-alongable, and it leads on to such really awesome guitar melodies and infectious guitar leads, uh, infectious guitar solos as well. An awesome fucking song, awesome fucking way to end off this album. This is definitely one of the most experimental albums by Iron Maiden. A lot of people say that they do sound the same, although they incorporate a few melodies that do sound like the same old songs from um, different albums for Iron Maiden, you can't help but appreciate that Iron Maiden have released another stellar album. They have, and I just feel that Senjutsu by Iron Maiden, Maiden leaders will say fuck you, well fuck you too, stick a breadstick up your ass. Senjutsu is easily in my top five Iron Maiden albums of all time. It has to be. I've listened to this album so many times, I have, and I just love it. 
this is going to be my favorite album of the year i suppose the weakest song would probably be the parchment but days but the lost in a lost world just really grew on me big time it grew on me and grew on me lost in a lost world especially the guitarist on um the sound a bit like children of the dam there are some songs there are some very sim there are some melodies that sound very similar to other songs like you get the same old Iron Maiden gallops which you get from like say the trooper or something like that there are some great moments and I fucking love that the artwork looks amazing as well you got Samurai Eddie and I just love the overall Japanese themed and I love how the lyrics are so damn how the lyrics are so damn clever on this the darkest hour is one of the most moving emotional power ballads I've ever heard by Iron Maiden yeah that's why Iron Maiden Sinjutsu is probably my favorite album of the year now let me know in the comments below what you thought about Sinjutsu do you agree or disagree my opinion it's all right if you disagree it's all right if you disagree my opinion it's all right if you call me a fuckhead or say i'm not a true iron maiden fan but just don't but just don't shit on other people's tastes just don't shit on other people's opinion in the comments below because yeah quite frankly i will be policing this fucking comment fred and if i see any of this bullshit prepare for a really angry jamie i will probably be redoing iron maiden ranking as well so stay tuned for that keep the discussion going in the comments section below and i will see you in the next one